Hi. So this week is World Endometriosis Week. So we are supporting and creating all the awareness we can about endometriosis. Why? Keep watching. This is Dr. Wanjiro Ndegwa at Footsteps to Fertility. Let's get the conversation going. What is endometriosis? So when I tell clients or some of my patients that from the symptoms you're giving, um, I kind of suspect there might be endometriosis. They're like, what, what, what endo, uh, well, so what endometriosis is, simply put, is a disease that affects the uterus and parts of the reproductive system. So at the beginning of the month, we have the endometrial layer, which is the inner layer of the uterus shedding. And it sheds outwards and gives, and basically that's the menstrual flow. But in endometriosis, this lining has spread to other parts of the body. And it could be on the tubes. So the endometrium layer could have spread through the tubes. That's what we think, it's a theory. But having little implants of that kind of tissue on the tube, on the ovaries, at the back of the uterus, at the front of the uterus, it's been seen in the liver, it's been seen in the lungs, and even in the brain sometimes. So there are little implants of the endometrial tissue everywhere. So you can imagine what that does to a patient. So what are the symptoms? If you have little implants of the endometrial tissue in the brain, in the lungs, around the uterus, in the fallopian tubes, when the layer of, of, of uh, the endometrium bleeds every single month, remember, it also bleeds from those little implants. But unlike in the normal menstrual cycle where the bleeding comes out through the cervix, it's bleeding into under the layer of skin or, or under the layer of the uterus or under the layer of the capsule of the ovary and that can be very, very painful. So the first symptom of endometriosis is extremely painful periods. And these women often have severe menstrual, uh, period, uh, menstrual pain, can't go to work, and some even need injections to be able to function. Popping a brufen or a paracetamol doesn't simply work. So it's a really, really terrible disease. Why are we talking about it? Why is it important? It's because truly it's often overshadowed. So you've seen these young girls, 16-year-old, 14-year-old, who've just started having their period. And the doctor says, oh, you're just having the normal little pains and it will go away. But what if it doesn't go away? What if the pain continues and continues and at 20 I still have periods that can't make me function? Then there is a problem. And sometimes it's endometriosis, which largely we thought, oh, it doesn't exist in black people. It's for Caucasian people. And for a long time, research said there's no endometriosis in Africa because we don't have it. But we were just underdiagnosing it. There is endometriosis in, in Africa and people who have painful periods need to seek help because it actually is a problem. So why are we discussing it? And I'm a fertility specialist. It's because endometriosis does affect our fertility system. With the little implants all over, if they go to the eggs or to the ovaries, what happens is sometimes they actually, through some mechanisms which we don't really quite understand, could reduce the quality and the number of our eggs. So we find that some people just don't have enough eggs after they've had endometriosis. Some people also, it can go and the implants can be inside the tube. And if it's inside the tube, then the tube won't function properly. So those are two reasons. And also, sometimes we just don't understand, but it's thought to give out chemicals that are hostile to, the, to ovulation and hostile to fertilization. So that's why endometriosis is important. So apart from giving you the debilitating pain, it could also be a cause of infertility. Women out there, young girls, if you're having painful periods, that make you, you know, and want to just scream, please see a doctor. Because at the end of the day, it might be normal. Not everyone who has painful periods has endometriosis, but it could be endometriosis. And if it's endometriosis, a lot can be done. There's treatment, there's, there's um, surgery, there are medications that can be taken. 
The only thing I will caution everybody is that it does, it's a chronic disease. Unfortunately, it doesn't go away completely, but we can improve the quality of your life. So please get seen. There is hope. And I'm wearing yellow because yellow is the color of endometriosis. And let's all take some time this week to learn about endometriosis, see what it is. If you have a relative or a friend or a sister who has painful periods, please mention about endometriosis. Share this video, comment. Let's hear your thoughts about endometriosis, but let's get the conversation going. This is Dr. Wanjiro Dagwajiguna, and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility, where we walk with you.